What's up, YouTube? This is Arnold Yo <coughs> Yoshi, as usual. <laughs> Not able to talk. Bringing you Welcome to Ponyville Act 1 Let's Play, and I can't remember to say Let's Play before the title. Anyway, last time we arrived in Ponyville, got a tutorial from Sweetie Belle, learned that we have no name, had some nightmares, and then slept with Vinyl Scratch. This episode, or recording session rather, we're going to figure out if we can top that in terms of crazy stuff. Let's select this profile and get back. Scene 4, Magical Obsession. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Why not? You were doing it. <laughs> wow. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it looked like fun. Nothing makes sense. And gay dubstep music. I missed this. Oh, Aww, did you have a nightmare? <laughs> Scoot a bit closer, I'll keep you safe. Scoot a little closer? What? And no, thanks. <laughs> You're harassing me. Maybe, but you do sleep kinda rough. At least I'm not rough in other parts. I'm sorry. Well, I need to adjust my mic. Okay. You kept saying stuff in your sleep, too. Couldn't make it out, though. It was all mumbled and disjointed. Yeah, that's usually how I sleep. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. But you probably should get that checked out. Might be some kind of sleep disorder. The only sleep disorder I have is insomnia, and also that is not how you say probably. That is probably. You're not a sheep. Hey, you know, you've got a nasty bump on your forehead. And your volume is suddenly low. Well, thanks for giving me a place to sleep. I'll probably see you around town sometime. Unless you want me to stay and keep the boogie pony away. <laughs> Just get out already. Call me Vinyl. I'll be looking forward to our next encounter, sexy. I almost forgot how unrealistic this game was. Why is she an acquaintance now? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Painkillers. I haven't even gone to the drugstore yet. And... <laughs> nothing like a warm shower, even though this only has one room. Alright. Being a monk. Oh, I accidentally skipped that. I, I keep accidentally skipping text. Sorry about that. Okay, anyway, we are here on the streets. Rain's late today. Vegas, this. I have to take into account Thunder Lane's vacation time. Flitter took the day off, so I'll have to take her shift. I need to get the rain clouds ready. And hurry up. Oh, did you say something? Yes, I said hurry up. Oh, yeah. About that. It does change. We're just having magic. Microphone problems. problems. That and every pony decided to take their vacation at the same time. And our manager approved it. Wow. Weird manager. So I've been doing most of their work. Well, all of it, actually. But it's okay. I can handle it. I assume if I was a Pegasus, this is the part where they, uh, she would recruit me into helping her. I will, as soon as everyone else gets back. Every pony! I can't really do that now. There's only a few weather ponies working in Ponyville right now. Everyone else is on vacation or out sick. What a coincidence! Yeah, it can be, but I can handle it. No big deal. Whenever you say that, it's going to become a big deal. Hey, you're new in town, right? I'm Cloud Chaser, by the way. <laughs> awesome, welcome Oops. to Ponyville. I've got to get going, but I'll see you around, okay? Maybe you can lend me some magic sometime. Was that supposed to be suggestive? Hey, you notice that? The sound of a car? The wind has been acting strange lately. It's been sounding like cars. Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Later! Hmm, wind's been acting strange. Could this have anything to do with Rainbow Crash? Rainbow crashes? What? Rainbow Dash's crash. Rainbow Crash's dash. Yes, whatever. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. That is, that is like me. Gotta adjust the microphone again. That is like me. What was I doing again? Who are you? Down here. Who are you? Oh, my God. You don't sound like Spike. <laughs> uh huh. Likely story. How do I know you're not here to steal rarity? Because she's already been stolen, as I can tell, considering the fact that the Diamond Dog probably came here. <laughs> well, 
you don't look like a bad stallion. Okay, I guess I believe you. I'm gonna probably turn the volume up. The game might freeze. Oh, so you've heard of me. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal around Ponyville. Yeah, it froze. Hold on. <laughs> And back. Well, you don't look like a bad stallion. Okay, I guess I believe you. Good. Oh, so you've heard of me. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal around Ponyville. Consider you're dragging it to Ponytown, I wonder why. And you're... Why do people's microphones, they keep on going quiet. <sighs> Watch, that's gonna happen to me, too. At one point, my microphone's just gonna randomly go quiet in the middle of a Let's Play, and I'm just gonna sound really hypocritical. Yeah, I was gonna eat it. But it looks better on her. So you're gonna eat her instead? There you are! Oh, you haven't been kidnapped, okay. I was wondering where my little spiky wikey had run off to. Oh, you've come to help me. It's so good to see you again. I have a week or two to get those outfits made, but there's no harm in starting early. I know, I'm recording this October 31st, October 30th for the last recording session. And I'm probably not gonna upload this until like partway through November or so. So yeah, I know. I know there's no harm in starting early. Spike, thank you so much for helping me today. You're just so cute! Blech. I could still use your help, but I won't keep you. I know Twilight needs you at the library. When are we going to meet Twilight? Now wait just a moment and I'll get the outfits. Psst. Hey bro, do me a solid? You shouldn't abuse the power of the solid. Yeah, yeah, I know, but listen. I'm supposed to go help Twilight at the library. But Rarity still needs me here. And I don't really want to leave yet. I mean, who would want to leave? Rarity's so blah cute blah and blah smart. blah blah. Just amazing. Anyways, do me a solid. Twilight needs my help at the library, but if you wanted to help her, I could stay here with Rarity. Only if you promise to actually get your voice correct and not sound like you're thirty years old. Hmm. I got you, bro. Well, I can't decide now. This is the kind of thing I can't really decide because I do kind of need the money. But, uh, I'm gonna flip a coin. I need to find a coin first. Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin. Heads, I got you, bro. Tails, I kind of need the money. And if it lands on its edge, I'm gonna click and pass up getting paid. If it lands on its edge somehow. Just in case, because I know that happens. Uh, Tails, okay. So, I kind of need them. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. You didn't think at all. How about I give you my week's allowance? You know, since you're helping me out? Five bits? Awesome. Really? I'll pay you when I get back <laughs> to the library. I really appreciate it. Just head over to the library. It's right down the street in the big tree. You practically can't miss it. Now he sounds like he's from Jersey. What the hell? Probably just sorting some books or making a checklist. I don't really know, but I'm sure you can handle it. I can't hold pens or quills, rather. How can they have arcade games and not actual pens now that I think about it? Oh my god, the tree is just a shadow. The direction of the library. It's right in front of you! The library? You just head down the street and take a left. Take a left? It's right in front of me! It's like. A meter away, practically. Okay, maybe not a meter, but like, like 20 feet away, and it's right in front of me. If I took a left, I'd get lost. It'll be right in front of you. A big tree house. It is right in front of me. Every pony in town knows that. You must not be from around here. No, really? <laughs> That's okay. I love meeting new ponies. I'm Rose Luck. What's your name? I'm you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just call me New Pony. <laughs> that tends to happen here a lot. We have to make up our own names. Oh no, look at the time. I really need to tend to my roses. I'll see you around, New Pony. <laughs> and, wow, not acquaintance or friend. Okay, that was great. Doesn't look like <laughs> Wow. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, church. Hello. Hi there. Welcome to Ponyville Library. Finally! A voice that actually works. That actually matches. Is there a particular book you're interested in? 
Yes, I am. Why? I hate your books. Sorry. He bribed you, didn't he? Maybe. Not exactly, that works too. I should have known better than to send him over to Rarities on a day where I needed his help. Well, at least he sent some pony to help me. My name is Twilight Sparkle, which I guess you already knew. No, I had no idea. I thought you were Rainbow Dash. Yeah, let's just go. I'm tired of sarcasm. Nah. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are you from around here? Hey, if I were in this situation, I would just start saying yes every time. I would say, yes, I've been here all my life. I am just usually invisible or something, so you never see me. Or maybe because you never come out of your library. Hey, me too! Did you attend Celestia School for Gifted Unicorns? <laughs> Wait. So, this assumes that I'm gifted. Um, there should be an unrealism counter. You know what? I should actually start doing that. Nah, that would get way too annoying. Yo, ding, 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 every five freaking seconds. Well, Canterlot is a big place. And I wasn't exactly in the normal classes. Nope, I was studying under Princess Celestia. <gasps> Plot twist! Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> I guess I am kind of special, but it doesn't make me better than any pony else. I've still got a lot to learn. I think we all do. I thought I had a joke to go with that, but I didn't. Okay. What about you? What classes did you take at the school? Why are you giving me bedroom eyes? Huh, I've never heard of that one. That's okay, if you'd like. I could help you out sometime. We'll see and sounds good. I think it's, I'd probably say sounds good. I would not click, I would not choose, and I don't need your sympathy. Go, you won't get sympathy from me. Really? <laughs> yes! We could talk about life in Canterlot, and studying at the academy, and those weird student discounts Joe used to offer us at his donut shop! And we can have an all night study session! Sleep over with a female. That would be awkward. And you can help me with some experiments and need a little more magic to complete and and whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I got a little carried away. <laughs> so how are you liking Ponyville? This seems <laughs> Yeah, say it right out loud. <laughs> I thought the same thing when I first moved here. Now I'm crazy too. And it didn't help when that whole nightmare moon thing happened. But, in the end, it all worked out, and here I am, happy to call myself a resident of Ponyville. You cannot say that with a straight face, can you? Not just Whoops. me. Didn't mean to I had it. help from my friends. Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy. Together, we formed the Elements of Harmony and Vanquished Nightmare Moon. Two things. One, Elements of Harmony is not capitalized properly. The E and H, the beginning of the E and... The beginning of... The beginning... You know what I mean. And also, why have we not met Fluttershy yet? Yep, they're my best friends. They're just the best group of friends any pony could ask for. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll make friends here in Ponyville. There is a bit of a trick to it, though. You have to know how to treat every pony in town. Well, I'm screwed. Some of them only respond to kindness. Others like a little teasing. Once you figure that out, I'm sure you'll make all sorts of friends. Others like a little teasing. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. I don't know. Have you made any friends in town? Friendship is magic after all. Why is that all one I word? No, I've been studying it under Princess Celestia. I love how friendship is considered to be the most advanced, not advanced, but most important subject in Equestria. Yet it, on Earth, you would not know it even existed, pretty much. Derpy, she's really nice. She comes in all the time. Next time you see her, could you let her know her book arrived? And also, I just realized we never met up with uh, Ditsy for the muffins or floor for the tea. Was that just supposed to be a conversation thing, or was that actually going to happen? Non-locality, hidden variables, and quantum entanglement. The Expert's Guide, Volume 3. What? <laughs> yep. 
took a whole three months for the paperwork to get through. Well, Dizzy's smarter than she looks. Just tell her that her book has arrived. She'll know what it means. Good, I don't have to remember the name. 10% luck, 20% skill, 50% Anyways, concentration. you want to get started? Start what? Oh, right. <laughs> Just need to reorganize some books. With two unicorns on the job, it shouldn't take any time at all. Well, my LCD probably matches yours, so let's get to it. Any questions? How, may, how are we organizing this? It's really simple. Currently, they are organized by genre. From within each genre, they are then organized alphabetically. What we'll be doing is organizing each of them alphabetically, but by series. For any of the non-academic works, if it's an academic work or journal, we'll be organizing them by subject. This is the part where I slowly creep towards the door and leave. Then by the author's last name. Within that, organize them again by the city where they were published. And this is the part where I bolt. Now, for adventure books, we need to... Okay, that works too. Anything else? How many books are we organizing? A million, I bet. Oh, I'd love to do the entire library today, but I don't think we'll have time. For now, just this wall here should take a little over an hour. Anything else? Let's go. Okay, let's start by taking these books down. Then what? we can set them in a neat, organized pile over here. After that, we can start putting them back. In order, of course. <laughs> no, really. Then again, neither get to it. Then again, neither am I, so... Whoops, you've got that one in the wrong spot. Here, let me show you. Do, do, do. Dot, dot, dot. She's doing. <laughs> that was the longest, shrillest, and most startling scream I've ever heard. Is she gonna scream again? I hope not. Good job. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Silly me. I was so annoyed with Spike, I forgot to ask your name. Hello, everyone. I'm back. How's it going, Twilight? <laughs> Damn it. Spike, there you are. Have fun helping Rarity? Yeah, it was tons of fun. I got paid in hugs. It was pretty awesome. Looks like not only am I your number one assistant, but Rarity's too. You don't realize the anger, do you? Your number one, huh? Well, how about number one go over there and organize that bookshelf like he told me he'd do? Oh, whoops. I guess I kind of forgot about that one. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Psst. Hey, a promise is a promise. Here you go. My entire week's allowance. It's like one bit. Five bits. Yep. I know it's a lot for such a short amount of time spent working, but hey, I'm a generous guy. I don't even want to react to that with a face palm. If I wasn't wearing headphones, I would just walk over to a wall and slam my head into it. But at the moment, I don't feel like taking my headphones off. Hey, are you heading into town? I'm on my way there too. Maybe we could walk together? Uh-oh. The library's been added to your map. It's the giant tree. That's all you need to know, and it's also usually right in so, front of you. What are you looking for in town? Hmm. Work? Huh. I'm sure there's plenty of that around. Ponies here always need a helping hoof. There are quite a few of those. In Ponyville, you never know what's going to happen. Pinkie Pie in three, two, one. So, you've been working little odd jobs since you came here? Okay, prove me wrong again, game. <laughs> I've been trying to work- I've been working a bunch of odd jobs. By that I mean I've worked once at Rarities and once at your place. And I feel like I've worked once elsewhere, didn't I? Probably not. Hmm, good point. I never thought of it that way. Guess that makes you a fairly adaptable pony. <laughs> I wish. Is that what your cutie mark represents? Adaptability? Oh right, cutie mark. What? You mean you don't know what your cutie mark means? Well, hmm, 
we could have put something like that in, but that would have taken a- that probably would have taken forever now that I think about it, because you would have had to, like, get the voice actors to come up with individual responses for about a million choices. Like, like, even me, my cutie mark has two meanings, so, jeez. What were you doing when you earned it? Uh-oh. Is my cutie mark a condom? Never mind. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. Pinkie Pie? Okay. Every time I see that little hyphen at the end, I think Pinkie Pie's gonna burst in. Just picking up some ingredients for dinner tonight. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. A great and powerful Trixie! This show stop it, musician! I almost said musician, and I'm speaking in Transylvanian accent. Transylvania is it trans just a vampire accent. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell me I can upstage her and just completely humiliate her, because I've always wanted to do that. She can't be serious. Why so serious? Oh, the goddamn man. Does she really think any pony in all of Ponyville would go see your show? All she's going to do is sit there and tell every pony how much better she is than them. I can't believe she'd actually show her face in town again. Though, maybe she's learned her lesson. She hasn't. I can already tell you that. That's how it works. Only main characters learn lessons. Trixie is a unicorn. Like me. Her special talent is magic. She showed up a while ago and started bragging about her magical talents. The only thing she really did was try to make everyone look bad. She even bragged she could defeat an Ursa Major. But when an Ursa Minor started rampaging through Ponyville, she cowered. She lied about the Ursa Major. In the end, I had to vanquish the Ursa Minor. She's probably hated me since then. After all that, it's a wonder she would even come back to Ponyville. Maybe she learned her lesson after last time. Still, I doubt any pony in town would go see her perform again. Every pony's gonna be there, aren't they? Yeah, she was. And going by that poster, she still is. Are you thinking of going to see her perform? <laughs> Maybe. Everyone deserves a second chance. I hope she's calmed down. But somehow, I... Is it Pinkie Pie interruption? There you are! Nope, it's 25-year-old Scootaloo. I've been looking all over for you, new pony! Actually, her voice does sound a little bit younger, so... Maybe the voice actor started fixing it as time went on. Whatever. Come on, I found you another job! <laughs> the one and only. Now come on, we're wasting time! Alright. Come by the library later. Maybe we can chat some more. Chat, in quotation marks. Whoops. Anyway. Okay, new queens. And it looks like an animal shelter. It looks more like a house that hasn't had the roof cleaned in years. This is the place, but we need to head towards the entrance of the forest. Come on, follow me! Huh? What's going on? Hey, Fluttershy! I brought you some help! Oh, thank you so much, Scootaloo. But you really didn't have to. I venture into the forest all the time. It's really not so bad. Finally, we meet Fluttershy. Oh... Um, uh, hi. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Fluttershy. Butterpie? I heard that just fine. Shut up. Um, no. It's Fluttershy. Y yes She would be shaky if not for the fact that she was a single piece of art. It's only like the most dangerous place in Equestria. Fluttershy here is practically the only pony brave enough to go in. You know, given the context, that is just sounds a lot like a lie, probably. Besides Rainbow Dash, of course. <sighs> oh, you'll see. Don't worry, though. Fluttershy will be with you, so you'll be fine. Don't worry, Fluttershy. I wouldn't trust a total jerk to help out one of my friends. You trusted me. I'm pretty sure that contradicts what you just said. Well, gotta get going, new pony. Sweetie Belle has this new idea on how to get our cutie marks. Good luck! Cutie Mark Crusader tutorial people? Tutors? What? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, um, Angel and I got into an argument, so he ran off into the forest. I tried to stop him. I really did. He doesn't know what he's getting into. The forest can be a dangerous place for a little bunny. I have to go save him. 
It's just... It will be dark soon. I don't like the dark. Everything is so much scarier in the dark. So many options. Oh, these are all questions. Okay. Yeah, like I'm gonna ask how much this job pays. Oh, it isn't that bad. I mean, sure there are lots of hungry predators, and it's always dark inside no matter if the sun is out or not. And there's quicksand, and poisonous plants, and... I'm gonna die. I think I can, uh, just... No, no, no. Angel is my pet bunny. He's just the cutest, most adorable bunny ever. He also beats you up on a daily basis. Sometimes he can be a little cranky, even hard-headed. But he means well. He's just a silly bunny. Who's a silly bunny? We had an argument over what he should be eating for dinner. He doesn't realize how important it is for him to eat healthy. I guess I was too hard on him about it. Bow chicka bow wow. I hope he can forgive me. But thank you. Oh crap, I I accidentally clicked outside the wall. All right, there we go. Wow, this place is pretty scary. Don't worry, it's not so bad. Once you know your way around, it's really easy. I don't think I'm ever gonna know my way around, considering how the show change, how the setting of the show, whoa, changes every episode. Is what I was gonna say. I'm hearing whispering. It's like... Just call out to him. I'm sure once he hears my voice, he'll come running. I don't have your voice. Angel, where are you, you silly bunny? Never split up! Uh, are you sure? This really isn't the kind of place you want to be wandering around alone in. Oh, okay. I'll just be for here then. Can't hear you over the music. That does not sound like a bunny. No crap, Sherlock. 